Lee Daniels, the butler, a box office hit inspired by the life of real-life White House butler Eugene Allen, who served eight U.S. presidents, a film influenced by someone with deep New Orleans roots. It's pretty surreal. Um, to be here now. In the marble hall inside the U.S. Custom House on Canal Street, I sat down with retired Coast Guard Rear Admiral Stephen Rashan, a venue embroidered with elegance and steeped in relevance for Rashan. He took his oath here. I won't forget it, November 1970, my first semester junior year at Xavier University. Marking the start of a stellar career. But by 2007, Rashan had retirement on his mind. And I was dreaming that I was going to go back to New Orleans, sit on my Camp Street porch with a shrimp po' boy in one hand and coffee demo in the other and my laptop to write my book. That was my dream. A dream deferred by a call from a prestigious address. I said, oh God. I've got 90 days left. What did I do wrong this time to get a call from the White House? And so the gentleman uh, began to explain that uh, he would uh, like me to come interview for Chief Usher at the White House. And I wasn't impressed. I said, what the heck is a Chief Usher? You go through all these years, 36 years, you make Admiral, and someone wants to call you a Chief Usher? The conversation continued. That didn't sound very glorifying to me at all, but then he explained the historical nature of the job and taking care of the president and the first lady and the first family and entertaining dignitaries in the most historic uh, mansion in the world. And I says, now that sounds interesting. And he says, and this is your pay that you'll be getting. So quickly I added up retirement, I paid at the White House, I says, when's my interview? He had nine, the last one with President George W. Bush. Apprehensive Rashan called a mentor who urged him to be himself. That's all I needed. I was relaxed. I went into the Oval Office, warm reception. And the president, uh, he says, uh, Admiral, what do you think about this chief usher business? And I said, well, Mr. President, what's in the title? I'm just honored to say that I might be working directly for the President of the United States. And he nodded his head. He liked that. And then he said, uh, how's your marriage? And I said, well, Mr. President, I have the uh, best marriage in the world, second to yours. And he liked that. And the next day, I got a call. And the job. Rashad became the first African-American director of the executive residence and White House chief usher. Among his many staffers, the butlers. Everyone, for some reason or another, had smiles and they were very curious because they had never seen an African American at that podium. In 2008, cameras follow Rashawn as he oversees preparations for a state um, dinner. This may be minor, but I think it's still worth getting the curators to straighten out the candles. We're on that. Okay, good. We so really were there days oh, at the White great, House great. when you thought, Just, what you have know. I gotten myself oh, into? Excellent. Of course, you know, they, but they were far and few. Work days could stretch into midnight. You know, it says, gracious man, you're in your 60s and you're back at this again, full force. So, uh, but other than that, um, the job was, was quite rewarding. Just thinking that you're gonna be a part of history. A month and a half on the job, he'd welcome royalty. But it was so uh, neat to meet her. She was impressed with how we rolled out the red carpet and she wanted to meet my staff. Getting close to another world figure proved to be tougher. So I was told, uh, you, uh, Admiral, you can't be in the room this time. And I says, but I'm Catholic. And if any head of state I want to meet is the Pope. And he had something they needed, the key to the security door. So I said, okay, open the door and leave the room right away. But the photographer, Eric Draper, was standing off enough to get me exiting the room right behind the Pope. So at least we didn't pose together, but I was right there with the Holy Father. At this defining moment, change has come to America. 
In 2008, America's history was rewritten, and soon the man in command of White House operations would meet the soon-to-be new commander-in-chief. I thank uh, President Bush and Mrs. Bush for, uh, by design, wanted me as the first African-American chief usher, the director of the residence, to greet the first African-American president for the first time. I couldn't imagine that I was going to be there, but imagine on this level, President of the United States. In 2011, he made a tough decision to leave 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue for a top post at Homeland Security. I had another uh, opportunity in front of me before I was to move on to taking care of my little mom full time. And this was like a step to get there. Uh, the hours at the White House didn't allow me to do that. And after retiring again in 2012, another unexpected call. This one from a film producer. I had to make some changes uh, to that script. At least I, recommendations. Because of my upbringing and the nuns and the priests and even a cousin who's a retired bishop, I couldn't sign on to uh, the, uh, the use of the F-bomb and the N-word as often as it was. Now, it was a wonderful script. Rashawn became a consultant for The Butler, a move that would bring him full circle and back to the Custom House, where his career began. Many White House scenes came together here. I'd like to say they were very accurate because I was there. <laughs> but, um, but I didn't win every battle. A state dinner scene filmed in this spot. The columns with the Corinthian capitals. Uh, I just can only envision the many cameras here. Admiral Rashan got to take Eugene Allen, the butler whose life the film is loosely based on, to lunch at the White House before his death in 2010. And it was I who was honored uh, to meet someone that had been there so long. Now, he wasn't even near becoming an icon in the movies. And after having opportunities and access that most people can only dream of, Rashan is dedicated to giving back, especially when it comes to young people. Strive to be the best at whatever you do. I think that uh, is what it's all about. One who has stolen because other folks gave me an opportunity and uh, you need to reach back and grab someone else. Even now, he relishes his days at Xavier Prep and his uptown upbringing. My mother um, was a single mom when I was three years old, and I have an older brother and a younger brother, uh, Gilbert and Gregory. And so she ruled with a strong hand. Uh, she wanted her boys to grow up um, in the right manner. And because of the butler, I'm Admiral Rochon, the chief usher. His name was heard around the world. That was pretty strange for me to hear someone playing me. I mean, who would have thought? Nice but there is one complaint. Very neat gentleman, but he was the age of my youngest son. And I said, there's no admiral that looks that young. And there's no chief usher that young. Still, there's little he'd trade about where life's taken him. After all, the admiral made history. I'm Sabrina Wilson, Fox 8 News.